small road on Thursdays, the first thing I do is I don't uh, grant or I take their stuff along. I better stop, I can't get through the Hold on, everything, should we just go and point to why everything is the way it is inside? We take Grand Rapids, the river. Oh yeah, let's look, let's just show how much you're in the bins there. And not two harbors. Oh, okay. Not North Shore School. Uh -huh. Those, those two bins will go tomorrow. Uh -huh. Bin, shelf. Ah. Bin. I do not go in order here. Yeah, sort of walking back and forth constantly. Because I'd have to walk 200 miles in this little van just to get all of their stuff in. That's why you're so slim and trim. That's why I maintain this girlish figure. And I gotta tell you. To be generated. Okay, that was about 30 seconds. That's average. I'm going to sort the list by collection, and that's library collection code, call number, author, title, and item barcode. Now we'll reorder, and we'll be able to print this off. All right, we have our printed pull list. It's a total of 40 items. Uh, today we're gonna start in the young adult fiction. This is what one of the aisles looks like. If the library is not busy, sometimes we'll push the cart along. Um, if patrons are in the aisles, leave the cart at the end and go locate the items. Select the item by title, match up the barcode to make sure we have the correct item, card it up. Alright, then, first of all I just scan all the when the books are all ours because the barcodes are all in the same place. I'll work with them at the other table, so. I'll keep them. Either stay here for our patrons or get sent someplace else. So. All right, just look on there. This one's going to Grand Marais. Everything uh, goes to the Nimitz driver to Grand Marais. And you're taping, Marais. you're taping the slip to. Be right back.
this went real quick because my co-worker is here and she took care of almost everything at the front desk but a lot of times it'll take quite a bit longer to alphabetical letters. Oh, another thing is she gets very, very mean with these boxes and she'll hit you. I've never laid a hand on you. No, she lets the box do it. Uh -huh. Well, John, we got a new quarterback. I heard that. He can't get a job anywhere else, so he comes to Minnesota. Well, it's going to be a step up. So we got that going for us. <laughs> That's about all there is, too. Well, you guys got a light load for me today. You can have your uh... I can have it. So we usually have four or five boxes. That's usually what we have. Yeah, usually okay. they call me so bad that I don't come back for a couple of days. Wine, wine. Okay. Checking all the CDs and DVDs. So what I'm going to be doing. Okay, and Faye, do you just grab a stack of books and just start checking them in, or do you sort by return books? And, no. Okay. I don't. I just start checking them in, and sometimes, you know, it just depends on how busy we are. Sometimes I have to take papers out. Sometimes John. does it a little bit different but it's in different locations and different orientations on the book right yes. some of them are yes yeah. and some of them were uh, parallel to the spine of the book rather than the top of the book Try to hit all the bins that, that I have on board. Like, see, this would be White Lakes. I, I carry a big bin for my next my next day route, and everything goes in there. I can't, I, there's, I don't have the room to sort individually stuff, so I do I do it like this, and then I have a second uh, stop on my way back, and a lot of times they get so full, and it's and it's that's that's what happens. Oh. And that's what happens. So I usually pull their stuff in, and I'm ready to fly with that. The old RV bookmobile had a ramp-like thing, but that was just to help handicap um, people. But 
they never used it. I got done away with right away. Here's the other big bin that we were seeing yesterday. Will was telling us about that particular bin. Big bins are actually uh, they're a little too big. Yeah. They're a little too big. You can see by the weight. I'm uh -huh. not sure how much weight is there, but it's quite a bit. Quite a bit. More than I want to lift. It's good that we got someone else doing besides Will, because we're all tired of looking at Will. Well, Will is very photogenic. So he tells us. And I'm not very smart, but I can lift a lot. <laughs> no, you just take the bin. These are the overflow ones, and you just sort them out. I sort them out. To well. He puts the bins in some sort of order that they're, each bin has. One might be for a bookmobile. One might be for uh -huh. hill. One might be for you know. So, so they're kind of organized. Uh -huh. So you don't have to keep looking all the time. These are the ones that are staying here. They're what? They're staying here. What are they saying? Are they? Uh... They say ALS headquarters on them. Oh, okay. That's what that whole bin is there, huh? That looks like this whole. Who takes this green? Roxanne. Roxanne takes Roxanne that takes and then she disseminates it where it needs to go. Yep. And you'll fill up several carts sometimes, it looks like.